first thing I'm going to show you is when you take the collar off, don't don't just chop through the knife like that. I'll show you why in a second. side of it. So all you've got to do is find it. Are you cutting these for portions to freeze? Yes. So you'll want like a six ounce portion or something? Yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this, the tail... Well, one pound. One pound? Yeah. Portions? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the tail, instead of going like that, which is going to end up, going to end up with a really skinny fillet, is I'm going to just take the tail off here, and so you'll have a big triangular fillet at the ends there. If I was cutting for re for wholesale for restaurants, I'd just do a straight end to end fillet. And this is just easier? Um, yeah, see, well, easier to fillet, but also you end up with a nice big fillet for the tail instead of two. If I did it not like that, you'd end oh, up with I two gotcha. skinny fillets, right? Yep, so yep. it just looks chunkier, you just get more chunky fillets for your money. And there's no bone in the tail, I assume. There's no bone in the tail portion. So when at the store, if um, if it's a kid's portion, I mean, there's going to be no bone in the rest of it anyway, but for kids, we recommend the tail for that. Because then there's no danger of any bones. But I'm thinking even down here, there's no bone, whereas there is a line of bones that there's goes, a line of bones right here, goes yeah. to somewhere here. So if you do like a bunch of like 30 second videos and send them to me, I can edit them, speed them up, slow them down, edit them. Great. I wish I had something better to film with. <laughs> Where do you want to put portions? 